Good morning, YouTube. Reseller Mom here. Welcome to today's video. This is June. What are we on? June like 11th, I think, 2022. And uh, I'm at the ice skating rink with my daughter here. It's freezing and the Zamboni is going. So if you hear that in the background, that's what's going on. But in front of me, I've got the LTD Commodities, mm, what do you call it, flyer. And just wanted to do some scanning. We are in the June OA challenge month and uh, finding some really good things here. But uh, ugh, there's lots of different ways to source. One is being the image scan with your Amazon account. Let's see here. So what I like to do is bring these catalogs and look for things like I'm gonna skip over. I'm not doing pillows, pillows or chairs here, but I like to bring these types of catalogs with me. Yeah, you know, whenever you got a long wait, sometimes that's like mm, doctor's offices, plane rides, you know, when you're waiting for the plane, I don't know, anytime you're just gonna be sitting around doing nothing. I stay away from these guys too, cause batteries and hazmat plus they're like a dime a dozen if it's a dime a dozen not really interested ah, these ladybugs i've actually sold they were sold out for a long time why did you not come up let's try again because i know they have hmm hmm that's weird okay let's try this LTD Lady Bug. Let's see if that comes up. Sometimes, you know, you'll be buying and sourcing things and then the listing goes bad for whatever reason. Well, sometimes it's because you get uh, safety requirement documentation. If it doesn't get done, then the listing will go away. So it could be it. What is this Ladybug Supplies by um, um, day. Um, day? I don't know. We got another. That's a. Ooh. When you see brands like that, it's usually a private label. They're they're just bundling crap stuff. Sorry, <laughs> watch my language. They're just bundling stuff up and have their own little private label thing going. Ah, here we go. So there's Lakeside Collection. Is that what I'm in? LTD. Hmm. Lakeside. I can't remember if Lakeside is the same as LTD or they sometimes have the same stuff. But uh, Lakeside is another store that's very similar to LTD, if not the same one. That garden gnome right there, Petunia, I have bought and sold her. She is, I want to say she's in here too. There we go. LTD set a four metal garden. Ladybugs, I knew they were in here. Now only $7.99, limited one offer. This magazine's old. <laughs> All right, now let's see here, 220,000 in home, that's good. 22 five-star ranks, that's good. Problem is the price is a little low, but all the prices are FBM. Let's plug in 7.99 and put the price up to 24.99 because really, if you're gonna do uh, FBA, you're gonna be a little, hello, you're gonna be a little bit higher than FBM always always put in a few dollars more if not a few more <laughs> people will pay up so there we go if we price this if we could sell it for $24.99 and get it for $7.99 that's some good margins right there at this point I would go over and look at the Keepa graph and if you don't have Keepa like my video today is kind of geared towards those just beginning and don't have all of the fancy software and tools so <clears throat> at this point, you can say if it was at $17.99. So let's say you're going to try and sell it between $17.99 and $24.99. You know that at $17.99, you're still going to make a little bit of profit, but the hopes is to sell it at the $24.99, right? And so if you're making this decision off no keep a chart, you could still get a maybe three to six of these items and go through the process and see, test it out. You know, if you buy three and they sell in two minutes for $24.99, then you buy more. 
if you buy three and it sits at $24.99 for a month and then you have to lower your price to maybe $19.99 and then maybe $17.99 and it doesn't sell, then, you know, it's one that you don't replenish. Now we've got another one that looks super cute. Let's see, I search. I, I think this is new. I don't, I don't remember seeing, cover that up, maybe. All right. My image scan, sometimes it just doesn't work very good. L, T, D. Those are B's, right? B's, B's. And, um, I'm trying to think of another word that would be good to narrow my search down. Yeah, it's giving me a whole bunch of junk that I'm, I'm not interested in. What is that? Honeybee figurine. Interesting. Uh, let's see here. Let's put in metal. Metal. I have not seen these metal bees. A lot of the items, they come out for the summer and then they, you learn how they get marked down. So the ladybugs came out and they were, I can't remember. Oh, okay. It says originally $9.99. I thought for some reason they were a little bit more, but they started at $9.99, now they're $7.99. I cannot find the bees. <laughs> the birds and the bees is eluding me today. We can flip the page. Tablecloths sometimes do okay. That's an interesting one. Let's see if the pattern will come up. $14 is a little high. Whenever I'm looking at a price, I'm going, okay, that price times three is about what I want to sell it on Amazon. So do I think that tablecloth is going to go for $45 on Amazon? No, no, that's a little ridiculous. Oh, this is cute. I have my graduation, my son's second party. <laughs> we had, we had a graduation party in Vegas and now we're doing one here local for his friends. We got that coming up next weekend. And that's one where, yes, I would totally bring Okay, my image scan is not working. We're going to, we're going to search by, by this. Mm, but I wouldn't be opposed to bringing some catalogs. Well, this party's going because uh, when it gets down to just him and his friends, his friends don't want to hang out with me. Now I know this has. I've sold this before, so that's that's where I have spent many hours scouring over these things. And the picnic table covers are one that I know is in there. There we go. Uh -huh, I found you. It is Lakeside. It's got to be the same people. They've got to be cousins or something. So $9.99 and it's going for $22. That's if you can find them. I sold these guys all last summer. Giving you guys a bolo. At $9.99 selling for $26. Not the greatest. I wonder if the fees are jacked. That's a lot of fees. $14 in fees. Let me see if the other one's $14. When you see that, like, yeah, that one's $14 too. Or did I click on the same one? Uh, you could have items remeasured and the fees reassessed. We did notice we went through our sales and noticed our average fees went up about, I think it was 64 cents an item went up this from April to May when we were looking at our main numbers, Tina and I. All right, this one looks better. It does not have the stats put in there. Let's see, see, see these fees are 11 and the other ones were at 14. So you might be able to request a remeasurement, get the fees down. I don't know. I don't know if it's been jacked up because of the new fee increases or what, but at 9.99, you gotta figure in tax, so say 11. Let's do that real quick. I can't remember if I pay tax at LTD or not. <laughs> not off the top of my head. It's still morning. I'm still working out the kinks. We got a $6 profit. And this one was the, what do you call that? Flip-flops? Yeah, flip-flops. So we've got a watermelon. I want to do this last one. And then I got to go because people are filtering in. And I got to watch my daughter for a minute. And then I got to do some shopping. She's going to be here for two hours. So I got to hit up store uh, LTD water melon 
I like looking at the other things too. Watermelon cab lights. What is that? Is that like for your cab? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, buffet. We'll just type in buffet. I know it's buffet. Watermelon oh, Tootsie Rolls. We've got, oh, let's do cooler instead. Cooler. Big Mouth Kitty Pools. That might be a good bowl. Oh, I like those. This looks like the same pattern almost, but I see it's a different brand. Mm. Let's try this. Watermelon in late uh, bowl. Cool. When I think something's in the catalog, I'll give it a little bit more of my time to try and search. If I think it's a cute product or, you know, you see something, you're like, oh, that's gotta be an Amazon. All right, not finding it. We're gonna continue on. We've given it a go. Is anything there? That might not come up. These things, like dime a dozen, people probably have a bunch of those. We've got snack trays. Hey, okay, that's a good hit. I have sold those snack trays. I don't think they're profitable. Yeah, they're not profitable right now. This is another one where you could up the price. Maybe you could get $16.99 for them and they are $7.99. So if you are shipping to a warehouse uh, prep center that doesn't do sales tax and could make the numbers work, that might be good. So I'm trying to look and scan at the same time. I like this little one. That'd be easy to ship. Hmm, not coming up. It's a little late to do patriotic. We're mid-June. Most of my 4th of July is done. I am still doing a little bit of summer, but it's time for back to school. Oh, look at those. Those are pretty cute. I don't know why your cat or dog would need a bag. Or maybe they're for you that you like cats and dogs. Yeah. All right, or do one more search a different way. So just typing LTD into the search bar. <laughs> what is that? Wildlife Coyote. We're getting Safari LTD. Okay. LTD. Um, what was the other one? Lakeshore. Lake. Uh, was Lakeshore one word? Lakeshore might have been one more. I was struggling with Spider-Man the other day. Spider-Man technically is hyphenated. Was it Lakeshore or Lakeside? Oh my goodness, I can't remember. Lakeshore, Lakeshore. Okay, Lakeshore is a children's supply store and I have sourced at that store. Let's try Lakeside. Yeah, Lakeside Collection, there we go. Collect, there we go. Lake Shore, different rabbit hole, does learning, learning stuff. You know, like if you're a teacher, a lot of teachers shop there. They have a club card, I do have a club card. There is a store near me, it's about 30, 40 minutes away, so you could physically go there and see what's there. And sometimes they're clearance items are good bolos. We got storage shell. Ooh. We've got some hand towels. I wouldn't do the raised garden bed. Shipping would be terrible in that. The tulip. That would be good if you could get this tulip pump. So then, you know, you'd want to reverse source and go see if either, I think Lakeside has a website too, or LTD has it. And see if you could actually find it. We've got those picnic tables cloths that came up. We've got stepping stones. Stepping stones might be a little heavy. I want to see what the fees are on that. $12. So you've got $22 to work from. And if they are in the $10 range, that might be good. It might be worth it. $10,000 range. It's not bad. We've got a little tiny. I love those little tiny 
stones. I want those for myself. Those are adorable. What else we got? We got folding clotheslines. Folding clothesline might come boxed and in a small, depends on how many pieces, if it's like Ikea putting down. You know, they, they pack everything really, really small. We've got vintage farmhouse quilt thing. That's a little high on the rank. Saint figurine for outdoors. Okay, well, the last one we're gonna look at. They've got two statues, both for $30. And sometimes these statues are made of stuff that's kind of on the lighter side. So yeah, that statue might be a good one to look into. $18 to work with, and I bet you you could find them for right around 10, maybe 12. I don't know, I'd have to, re I'd have to go look that one up. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video of sourcing with me, got some ideas and things to go by. I gotta go back to watching, watching the ice skating. <laughs> I gotta find my daughter. She's in black, which everybody out there is in black, so I gotta figure out where she's at and pay some attention to her and then get some grocery shopping done. I'm also doing Trader Joe's replens today. There's a sale at Fred Meyers in the baby section that has some good, good deals going on. And uh, yeah, hope you all have an awesome day. Take care.